Cleveland man with quite the story to tell got quite a gift today. Peter Maniel, one of the lost boys of the Sudan, escaped a bloody civil war when he was just a small child. Now at the age of 29, his good work is inspiring others to help him. News Channel 5 reporter Bob Jones explains. In 1987, when Peter Maniel was only six years old, he watched in horror as Islamic fundamentalists burned his village and killed his people in southern Sudan. He escaped and became known as one of the lost boys. Peter walked with other kids a thousand miles in bare feet through the desert. I walked for three months to Ethiopia. Peter told employees at Ganley Honda in North Olmsted that many of his friends died on that journey from thirst or lion attacks. I just pray God all night and all day because I didn't know if I would make it, make it. The U.S. State Department eventually brought 3,500 lost boys to the U.S. 29 live in the Cleveland area. Inspired by stories like Peter's, Allison Wooters from Chagrin Falls founded an organization called Kids of Sudan. It's something that you can't even... You can't even imagine happening to anybody in our country. Today, Ganley donated a 2001 Honda Civic to Peter. And it was an opportunity for us to try to help him and the group of men from the Sudan. Having his own car means a lot to Peter because now he'll have more money to give to 40 people, many of them kids that he supports in Sudan. He currently gives half of his paycheck from his $10 an hour job to Sudan. I use my life to work hard to help people who, who really need help. Meanwhile, Peter is anxious for July. That's when southern Sudan, whose people voted for independence, will become an independent state. In North Olmsted, Bob Jones, News Channel.